But we saw Umarth go ham yeah. on Spacey earlier, so he just has the easier one to edge guard now. Yeah, Although but it seemed like edge guarding was not his but forte. I feel like, but because because Umarth played East Coast Jeff, right? Yeah. Yeah, I and mean, that was really close. And like, no disrespect is to East Coast Jeff, but I think Squid's a high, like a slightly high caliber like player. Like a tier above. Yeah, and just like, and Squid is is also really no nonsense. That's like. Something Squid is also the biggest grinder I've ever seen in my entire life. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's why I think that's how you that's how you get like, no nonsense like you know and still the news just by like just grinding hard. Yeah, absolutely. He definitely knows. At the very least, he's aware of what the best punish is at all times, and then he's really close to executing it at all times. Yeah, and you know, in in Irvine, he has um, legendary Marth Trolley to play against. I have no idea who Trolley is, but I mean, he's it. a legend. Yeah, um, yeah. So he so he has the knowledge, you know. So we go into game one, Squid already. Look, yeah, up throw fair. I I think a lot of people see that and they think it's a mistake, but. You could actually up throw Fair Marth and net like a free 30, 35% if he DIs on all the hits. And of course, Marth getting hit is going to want to hold in, so. Yeah, and Squiz playing a very different fast than than, uh, than Jeff is. Because, you know, Jeff is kind of like brute forcing his way, but but Squid with the lasers and, and you know, he's, he's always spaced properly. It's, it doesn't seem like it's it doesn't seem like it's just like, here I come for oh you. My. Oh, man, he needs to do it again. It's one more chance, but yeah, yeah. it gets him no, away. Yeah, it's, it's the double. But yeah, Squid... Um, very aware of the best punish 90% of the times. He'll hit him with weak moves, um, you know, hit him with moves to keep him in place as opposed to sending him really far away. Uh, so that he can send him up for even farther away punishes later. Yeah. Um, gets hit with that stray fair. Doesn't let it get to him too much as he just takes center stage again. And Squid doing the smart person thing and just backing off the yeah. ledge. Just just hold hold all of my lasers. Does that weird, almost desperate down air to come down. Wasn't even close to him, but... It was I like, guess. hey, just in case you show up, yeah. I got some. Nice, good fair. I really like the F tilt there, actually. If he does, yeah, the, if the, he just falls down and doesn't double jump there, he just catches him and he dies. So. Yeah, the Shine Soul just, you know, to kind of, like, I, I feel like the Shine Soul almost baited that option out of him, too. Just. Oh, snatches the ledge Ooh. in between the fire stalls. Give me that. <laughs> just really yoinks it from him. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, it dips really low. I'm surprised that he didn't make it back there, but Squid seems like he's playing a little bit more patient off the stage than ever before. Yeah, and this is just... This is really hard now because you have to, yeah, you have to go for a read, and if that forward smash hits, he dies, and if not, then you have to deal with this again, so... Yeah, and... Nice, double oh, jab. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, he's got, he's got Clean the Clean reverse up here, yeah. And I don't think I've seen Umarth, um... I don't think I've seen him reflect a single laser. Yeah, he definitely is not power Which is um, Which is something you need to do in this matchup. At least once or twice, because you have to show him that you're that you're like, you have to make him second guess it at the very least. Yeah, and obviously if it's, it'd be nice to power shield every single laser, but at least if you're setting, oh god, ooh, does the recovery ooh. dare? Yeah, kind of oversteps his boundary there and gets immediately punished for it. Um, but even if you're just showing that you're not letting the lasers hinder your movement, like that, that was really good. He did a shield and then was immediately able to act outside of it. Yeah. Um, you're telling the Falco that you know how to move around his moves. Um, but if you're just giving him free reign to just shoot lasers on your shield, it's kind of a, yeah, kind of a, a look to tell your opponent. Yeah. Well, you're just telling him that he that he controls neutral. Yeah. So it's like. And if you're conceding neutral, then you kind of have to be more on top of it with your punish game. And not that Umar's punish game has been bad. It's just that Squid's has been. Squid's just, yeah, well, yes. Squid's just had both hands on the wheel. Yeah. And just driving. Yeah, of course. And it's and it's just a one one straight highway. Umarth was trying to offer suggestions like, hey, there's an in and out on this exit, and yeah. he just passed every single exit. Umarth has to. He was like, he's like, ah, oh, I mean, we can go to we can go to in and out, but uh, oh oh oh, 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 you don't want to go yet? Okay, you know, we can go to Chick Fil A later. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. I, I don't care really. It's whatever. Strikes to Pokemon Stadium. And oh. Spacey Land, which is weird because he didn't. He banned this against uh, East Coast Jeff, and he went to Dreamland, and he won on Dreamland. Hmm. So interesting. Or no, he didn't win on Dreamland. He lost on Dreamland. So maybe that's still uh, still in his head. And Falco not as uh, not as prone to killing you off the top, so the yeah. lower ceiling doesn't matter too much here. Yeah, it's not a huge deal. But but it, it, I mean, for someone who got so oppressed by lasers, having a long stage seems like a bad idea, right? Yeah, for sure. Um, Really good slide off DI from Squid there. Um, we saw Umarth get a, so much mileage out of that against East Coast Jeff. Um, the platform punishes that is so. Yeah. Squid showing that he's not not going to be as easy to uh, farm for that free percent on the platform. There's one power yeah, shield, but doesn't get a lot off of it. Yeah. This is the tag. 
I think Squid maybe would have been expecting like a forward smash there, because you get up to a forward smash at that percent. Maybe just yeah. not teching it, but Umarth not making it that bad on him. Yeah, Squid is taking center stage and then putting himself back in the corner there. You hey, see these power, power shield shields. jab. There he goes. That's something. Nice. Good Nair. I really like that Nair there. Really smart Shorten, though. Um, those are retreating fair. He needs to start covering that side beat ledge. Um, yeah. I feel like every time he's gotten Squid off stage, that's just been his go-to. And it's not like it's hard to cover his Marth, you just have to be preemptive about it. Yeah. You just had it, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like a real, a real educated guess. You know, just I don't like this. <laughs> I, I would prefer he just did, stood center stage. Yeah. But now Squid. Squid, the man in the, the, man in the little pit. Squid saying that he does not want the corner whatsoever. Which I guess makes sense, because once the stage goes back down, then you're in the corner against Marth, which is yeah. never fun. But yeah, just back to back to the lasers. Back Any to, percent here is throwing, good percent. Throwing your guns. Oh no. Um, oh, bummer summer. Yeah, you really. Oh, there it is. The Ford. The Forders gave him like twenty percent for free. He just got hit by four four legs rapidly. Yeah. <laughs> so he, I think Squid more than happy to just kind of not commit to anything here. Hack on as much percent as he can. Good dash attack. Double dash Gets attack. Gets right underneath that, yeah. Mario Kart. <laughs> oh my god, and then just calls him out. He says you're going to drift straight to ledge and I'm going to kill you for it. Alright, here's Umar's opportunity. Yeah, I think if he just commits to the down tilt there, anytime that he sees... Because down tilt, it's not like it's super committal. If you whiff it and he goes for up B, you can still have time to react. Um, down tilt just gives you a little bit more of that leeway on covering the side B to the, to the ledge. Yeah. And Squid just back to kind of owning neutral. Back throw? Yeah, that was really good. Good guy from Squid, though. See, mm, it just seems like he's not doing the right option. Yeah. You know? I and mean, he still likes to suck, which is good. But. And Jab does hit below, but you'd have to literally get it on the frame when it comes out in order yeah. to swing there. As soon as it's... And down tilt's scary because you give him that opportunity to attack, and Squid is definitely... Um, a man who can't. Executionally proficient enough to hit that yeah. enough that you're like, okay, this isn't a viable option. Um, but you have to at least test him on it first. Make sure that he's not getting off for free. Yeah. Squid, once again, just taking center stage. Um, this transformation I actually really like from Marth. Uh, gives you a lot of creativity and freedom in your combos. Um, but it also does just as much for Falco as it allows him to combo uh, vertically more so than usual. And there he goes. Oh, yeah, just wow. snatches ledge. Just, and just grabs yeah, it. Just for once. He calls him out. Um, already it's looking better. It's a one stock deficit, but it's Falco. Oh, that's that a preemptive was. counter. Which I don't know if that was the right call. I don't. I've ever seen Squid maybe try to make an aggressive move at the ledge like that. He kind of just takes and center stage and waits yeah, for him to come yeah, back. Yeah, I was saying Squid was all the way in. The, he was in the middle of the Pokeball circle. Yeah, that was, was. That was like a hard, hard read. Yeah. The one that ends up not paying off and he loses the stock for it. But. And I think this is the point in the game where you start to get a little bit frustrated um, with the amount of lasers that Squid's shooting that inhibit your movement so much. Yeah, and and now your shield like. Now you're just getting desperate to kind of swing swing away at him. Does get a grab, gets the tech chase. Nice, there I really is. love that. Wow. Falling up here, there And it these is. are the combos here. that Umarth has probably been searching for the entire game. Could have just grabbed him, but I think he was preemptively waiting for the roll. Nice. And that power shield, attack. yeah, that power shield. Oh, I'll be slightly late. Could just double dip here. Wish the Waveland, yeah. Waveland probably a safer option because then he gets to act when he lands on stage, but whiffs the wave land, so it's neither here nor there. That's down air. Oh, oh misses. Whiffs it a little bit. Still catches him on the back end with that back air. I think this, oh, great insane tech. Insane tech. Yeah. Oh, oh, and then whiffs the easy bummer one. Bummer summer. Yeah. Yeah. Get up attack and close it out. Not a bad showing from Umar. I was yeah, actually Umar's pretty actually, impressed. That game did a lot better yeah. than, than expected. That last stock where he uh, got the platform tech chase and all that combo, yeah. I think that if he played like that from the beginning, we would have saw maybe a closer match, maybe even taking maybe, the second yeah, match. Maybe, maybe even one game taken, yeah. Definitely. But it's kind of feel good knowing that you did that well against a player who's of that caliber. Yeah, yeah I mean, Squid's like consistent, like consistent, like you know, top sixty-four, or top. Oh yeah, for sure, one hundred percent. So yeah. cool. Thank all you. right, guys. Yeah. Um, so that's gonna be a, all for us. We're gonna take a break here. Come back with a uh, Raptor and Chroma for top thirty-two to top eight, I believe. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, thanks for having yeah. us. Hope you enjoy the rest of the uh, rest of the roast. Yeah. Have a good day, guys.